Hello everybody, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. This is going to be the final bonus episode, I do believe, and we are covering the greatest secret of this game. And that is the secret of Stop and Swap. So you've seen from the ending scene, the shark fruit of Isle rising up, the ice key, and some of those mystery eggs. Well, I'll just show you. If we go to view totals, we've got Gruntilda's Lair, yeah, yeah, Mumbo's Mountain, all of that. You can see we've gotten 100% on every single level, as well as how much time we have spent in each level. But once we go to the end, play Clockwood, if we go beyond that, stop and swap. And I also learned today that there is one of these stop and swap prizes that I actually haven't gotten on this cartridge. So we'll be doing that today, which is going to be exciting. Anyhow, stop and swap is very famous for this game. Basically, what the designers were playing is they were playing Banjo-Tooie while making Kazooie, clearly, because Mumbo was talking about it at the end, and they had to program that in. And this was going to be a planned feature between the two games, stop and swap, where you would collect an item... How it was going to work is that in Banjo-Tooie you would learn how to get these items in Banjo-Kazooie, and then how it would work is that, I believe, it was this is how it's rumored to work, is that the N64 uh, used to be when you turned it off, like, the data from the game you were just playing would, like, persist in the system for, like, around a minute. And so what the developers were going to plan on doing is, like, you play Banjo-Kazooie, then you turn off the console, then immediately put in the Banjo-Tooie cartridge and turn it on, and it'll still have some of the persistent data from Banjo-Kazooie when you play it in there. And then you'll be able to use that to kind of transfer these items to Banjo-Tooie to unlock new stuff. Which is a cool idea, but it didn't work out for a variety of reasons, mainly because Nintendo released a better N64 that didn't have that, where the data from the previous game only persisted for like two seconds as opposed to like 60 seconds. So that didn't really work out. So Stop and Swap got turned into something else, but the items still existed in Banjo-Kazooie. And somehow, I don't know how, but somehow people found out how to get these without Banjo-Tooie telling them, because Banjo-Tooie didn't tell them, because Stop and Swap didn't work out. Anyhow, the key lies in, as you may have guessed, the Treasure Trove Cove Sandcastle. Man, we have been there just a whole lot, haven't we? Treasure Trove Cove is definitely the world you visit the most, if you care about doing the extra things, which obviously I do. I'm a bit of a completionist, in case you didn't notice. I like getting 100% in games, especially when I let's play them, because I feel like that at least makes me a little different from some of the other many, many, many people who let's play Banjo-Kazooie. Anyhow, back to Treasure Trove Cove, back to the Sandcastle, and I will kind of show off. There's a whole plethora of cheats in this game that you can type in. There's, like, cheats to open every world. There are cheats to do little things, like alter things in Grunty's Lair to be like, oh, we're gonna just destroy the ice boulder in front of the first Cheeto page. Uh, without having to do that manually. Also things like, oh, there's a cheat for infinite lives. There's a cheat for infinite eggs. However, unless you're doing the legit in-game cheats, like the Bottles ones or Cheetos cheats, or the ones that reveal these stop-and-swap prizes, you can only do, I believe, one of them. If you try to do, according to the guide I'm using, it says if you do two or more of those cheats that aren't related to the stop and swap or the actual in-game cheats, then Grunty will delete your save file. So on my first playthrough, I did a cheat to make the, to just open Click Clock Wood without needing it, because I thought it was bugged that you couldn't open it. Anyhow, so there are some cheats here, and I'm going to read to you the stop and swap ones. So, I've got these pulled up. Okay, so there's a cheat for 200 eggs, there's a cheat for 8 immediate honeycombs to refill your health, cheat for 99 mumbo tokens, cheat that activates the flight pad, so basically lets it instantly teaches you the flight flying move, uh, cheat that instantly teaches you the shock jump move. Okay, there's a blue egg in the cellar, and... Yeah. <clears throat> So I'm not sure if this one is actually real, but it says Blue Egg and Cellar, and it says the, the code is CHEAT DON'T YOU GO AND TELL HER ABOUT THE SECRET IN HER CELLAR. I'm not sure if that's actually a cheat though, because I thought the Blue Egg was in Gobi's Valley, as according to the end of the game. She, uh, one that would break Grunty's eye, that where the witch switch for Mad Monster Mansion is. Uh, yep, <laughs> enables you to do the Click Clock Wood Jigsaw Puzzle without having to press the switch. Uh, the Shark Food Isle 1, to make the island rise up to get the pink egg. Cheat. Out of the sea it rises to reveal more secret prizes. 
Okay, yeah, the blue egg in the cellar, that is not a real one. The real blue egg che is cheat, a desert door opens, wide ancient secrets wait inside. The ice key cheat, cheat, now you can see a nice ice key which you can have for free. I'll be typing these out as well, so in case people don't understand my accent or my Midwest accent, <laughs> no worries, because I know I can swear words. Uh, the Green Egg in Mad Monster Mansion. Cheat amidst the haunted gloom, a secret in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna pull up all of these. Yeah, so we've done pink, blue, and green egg, as well as the ice key. There's also a red egg. Okay, so there's a cheat to give you infinite air, which is great for Rusty Bucket Bay, Clinker's Cabin, and Clotlock Wood. Cheat for infinite eggs, cheat for infinite gold feathers, infinite lives, infinite red feathers. Open Bubble Boop Swamp early, open Clinker's Cabin early, open Click Clock Wood early, open Freeze Easy Peak early, open Gobi's Valley early, open Mad Monster Mansion early, open Rusty Bucket Bay early. There are cheats to open the note doors. Again, these are cheats that Grunty will punish you for if you use too many of them. Yeah, we already had that. Raise the, you can raise the water level near Rusty Bucket Bay without needing to push all the switches in Grunty's Lair. The red egg in the captain's cabin in Rusty Bucket Bay. The cheat is, cheat this secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. Remove all breakable walls. Uh, whatever. I don't know exactly the extent of that one. Remove the, gri uh, the crypt gate near Mad Monster Mansion entrance. Remove the grill inside the witch statue near Bubble Boop Swamp and destroy the moss grunty statue's hat. Uh, remove the ice cube in front of the Freeze Easy Peak Jigsaw Puzzle to get you to Cheeto. Remove the large pipe next to Clanker's Cavern. Remove the lid to the coffin. Um, because you really just, you don't want to have to ground pound it. It takes too much time. Removes the two pipes by Clanker's Cavern. Removes the grill blocking the way to Bubble Boop Swamp's Jigsaw Puzzle so you don't have to push the switch in the lobby. Now here's the final cheat, the final stop and swap cheat that we act that I actually haven't done in this uh, cartridge. Cheat, now Banjo will be able to see it on Mabnut's table. So let's try this out. <laughs> A cow sound. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. The cow says no, don't cheat. Okay, so now... And it doesn't make any sounds, so you just have to trust me on this. Now... Fan... Banjo... Now Banjo will be able... And I don't mean like Kane's brother Abel. A B L E. Now Banjo will be able to see it on. So that's T. Two words, nab nuts table. And A B N U T S T A B Hopefully this goes right. Yep. Booyah. I can't believe... Magnet was sleeping with a girl, Squirrel! What? Did I miss that in winter? Yeah, so you can do that for all of the different... Uh, do that for all of the different stop and swap prizes. We are gonna go and grab that 
How did we not have that? I thought me and my brothers got all of them. Apparently not. Maybe we were using a different walkthrough that did, and the one we used in the past didn't have the yellow egg. But here's my thing. How did people figure out the exact codes to unlock all of these? Was there like a Nintendo Power issue where they're like, here are all the codes? I'm guessing Rareware must have released the list of them, because there's no way anyone would be able to like find these out by themselves. Anyhow, we are absolutely grabbing this. Well, this is kind of cool. I thought we had all of the... I thought we had all of the Stop and Swap prizes, but no, we don't. So the ones that are the most special are the Ice Key, the Blue Egg, and the Pink Egg, because those actually, like, change the levels. The Ice Key, like, makes the ice wall disappear in Waza's cave, so you can actually go into the cave. You can see the ice key before you activate the cheat, but th there will be an ice wall blocking the way, and using the cheat will remove the ice wall. For the blue egg, that's in Gobi's Valley. That was in that little crypt area. There's normally a very mysterious looking door that's blocking it, and using the cheat will make the door disappear. And then for the pink egg, that'll literally make Shark Food Isle rise up, which is a pretty drastic change. All of the other ones for the red egg, the yellow egg, and the green egg, you type in the cheat and it just makes them appear. So the green egg appears in the Mad Monster Manor bathroom, I think in the bathtub. Uh, the red egg appears in the captain's cabin in uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, where we found the jiggy in like the cupboard area with the bed. <laughs> it's past the window that looks exactly like all the other windows, and it just makes that appear, I think, on the bed. And then this one makes it appear in Nanot's house. So it looked like it appeared in winter. And Nabnut seems to be sleeping with a pink girl squirrel. Off we go. Also, the evil snowman's official name is Sir Slush. I think we saw that in the credits, but I just learned that. Anyhow, up to Nabnut's house. That's going too far. <laughs> Gumbo! What you trying to do? So slush. Oh, sure enough! There is a pink squirrel here that I must have just completely missed. Oh, he found love. That's so cute. Or maybe that's just a body pillow. I'm going with the first one. He found love. And we get the yellow egg! So now if we go to view totals... There we go. That's gotta be all the prizes, right? Maybe there's a light blue egg as well? There's room for one more egg, so maybe that light blue egg that it said earlier in the cellar... Maybe that's another one. I'm gonna try that. I didn't... I did not think it would be. So now I believe... Now I believe every time we enter Nabnut's house, it's gonna do that epic fanfare. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> that's the thing. Once you've actually activated the cheat every time you enter the room where the Thane was, it'll play that epic fanfare, and as well as a unique song. Don't... <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, so now one other thing I'm curious about. Will, will it play that fanfare in every season, or just in winter? I'm, I'm curious about that. And we've got time in this bonus video. And yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to collect all the mumbo tokens. You can look at a walkthrough yourself if you want to see them all. Because there's more than enough, and getting the extra 40 does not do anything. Wait, no, 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 that's the exit. Alright, let's go to Spring. Spring's pretty easy. Alright, off to Nabnut's house. Well, I'm glad I can actually show off at the... I literally, I don't know if there's another egg. It would make sense if there is, though, based on the position of the wall in the start screen. And the random code about the cellar that I got. Which I didn't think was real, but holy cow, I'm re I'm just really glad that there was one we didn't get and I got to show that off. I'm guessing not every Let's Player does that, okay. Nope, okay, so I'm guessing the egg only appears in wintertime. That's good, so we still get the Nab Nut music. 
Alrighty then. And like I've said, once you collect a stop and swap prize that is forever tied to your, not even your game file, your game cartridge, I believe you can delete every single save file and you still will not, and it will still have record that you got all the stop and swap prizes. Which means if you're playing on the native N64, uh, or if you're watching someone play from the native N64, their chances are they're going to have either none of them or all of them. Most people will probably have all of them. Unless they're doing a blind let's play. So this is kind of going to be very interesting. Hopefully people enjoy this. And I'm very curious to see if there actually is another one. Alright. Always take out the stupid crab first. Alright. Well, let me pull up the blue egg one. So this is... This says it's a blue egg in the cellar. I don't know if I believe that, but let's try it. Oh my gosh! There is another one, and it is in the Mad Monster Mansion cellar. What the heck? I didn't know about this! Oh, that's so cool! And that explains why one of the... Oh, that totally explains why one of those barrels was empty, and I made a joke like, What the heck? <laughs> They're really... It's empty, there's not even any wine inside? Oh my god, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. And people who've gotten all of these are probably watching my Let's Play, who probably watched my Let's Play are like, He didn't play the epic fanfare in the cellar! He hasn't unlocked it yet! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too good. This is, uh, this is freaking amazing. I did not, I, I expected to just go to the sandcastle and read off the list of codes, and that's it, and then maybe ex Oh, I probably should have shown off- No, 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 you know what, the game showed off Shark Fluid Isle at the end, with us going inside and climbing up to the top, so there's no need for me to go there. And I showed off the Gobi's Valley one and the Freeze Easy Peak one, so that's great. Alright, uh, off to Mad Monster Mansion. Man, Monster Mansion. Let me up there, please. Let me up there, please. Let me up there, please. Thank you, Grunty. Ha <laughs> ha! Slide down my chin. You must do now. I don't... I, I could make it a rhyme, but I wouldn't know how. Anyway, off to Mad Monster Mansion. Wow. So Mad Monster Mansion has two eggs. We had all of them. We were missing two prizes. Oh my goodness. Really golly gosh. Also, I should uh, mention, I believe there's an Xbox 360, like, rare collection re-release where you got this game. I believe all of the stop and swap stuff were still in that, but because it's completely different, what they actually did is, like, Xbox gave a unique prize. It's like, oh, you got the blue egg. Uh, you, you unlocked, like, concept art from the game, which I think was actually really cool. Well done, Microsoft, on doing that. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that happened. Alright, let's go to the cellar. Well, it still has the normal music. Look at that. So one of these has it in. Oh wait, is that the one that was... Oh! That's the one that was X'd off! That's why that was there! I didn't even know! I thought that was just a decoration! Holy cow! Wow! My mind's being blown. Oh my gosh! I got legit chills walking in here. So now I have all the stuff. Oh my gosh! My mind's been blown. I had no clue. I thought every single time I've seen this, this barrel has been X'd off. 
Oh my gosh. I hit it. Wow. This is the best bonus episode I've ever done. We have all the eggs now, everybody! And the ice key. I can't believe that my family and I missed two eggs. I thought for sure we had them all. Oh my gosh. Because I remember, because I remember there was definitely a code involving an egg for Nabna, but I typed it in and nothing happened. I must have typed it in wrong. Holy cow, that's awesome. But yeah, you can collect all six of these eggs and the ice key in this game. It doesn't do anything in this game, but you get the swag rights and you get the awesome music fanfares. In Banjo-Tooie, there are only three of... No, there are four, I believe. Maybe four? Maybe three? I think there are... Okay, so the in Banjo-Tooie, the light blue egg, the green egg, and the red egg are not in it. The ice key is in it, the pink egg is in it, and the blue egg is in it, and I believe the yellow egg is also in it, but I thought that was just a unique theme to Banjo-Tooie. But no, it actually is from this. Holy cow. Getting them in this game does not matter, but it gets you that nice, cool stop and swap collection screen that we have here. Thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play series. Sorry I'm not going back and getting all those mumbo tokens. I don't want to have to put in the time to be like, which one did I miss? Hmm, I do know this, though. I know three of them. One I missed, it was in Bubble Goop Swamp behind Mumbo's skull. One was in Bubble Goop Swamp inside Mumbo's skull behind Mumbo. And then the other was in the uh, creepy old shack next to the Mad Monster Mansion entrance that has Mumbo inside with the water level switcher. It's behind Mumbo in there as well. Yeah, you can just... there. There's a walkthrough that shows you the locations of all 115 Mumbo Token locations, so just look at that. And I think for the description for this video, I'm going to post a link to the... Uh, what website am I using? GameSpot.com for all the Banjo-Kazooie cheats for the Nintendo 64. I'll post the link to that in the description, so you can take a look at that yourself if you want those cheats to get infinite lives or something. Again, it says if you use two or more of those cheats, though, then Grunty will erase your save file. I don't know if it's just the save file you're currently playing or all three save files, I don't want to find out. But we now have gotten, like, literally everything worth getting in Banjo-Kazooie. Thank you all so, so much for following this series, and I hope you join in for my next Let's Play series, and I hope you stay tuned for the future when I play Banjo-Tooie. might want to subscribe to me if you want the alerts for when that'll come out. I have no idea when I'm going to do that. I'll just get around to it when I get around to it. And thank you again. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you wherever you are. Have a fantastic day.